the Terracotta Army, the Dow Jones, and a Spielberg movie are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is March 29th, 2021. It is the 88th day of the year. There are 277 days left in this year. It's the 13th Monday and the 10th day of spring, 84 days left until summer. If today's your birthday, you're an Aries. Today is Vietnam War Veterans Day. Vietnam War Veterans Day seeks to thank and honor United States Vietnam veterans and their families. This day acknowledges their service and sacrifice. It also recognizes those men and women who were denied a proper welcome when they were turned home from the Vietnam War. The first Vietnam Veterans Day was in 1974, a year after the last troops were withdrawn from Vietnam. The Vietnam War Veterans Recognition Act signed into law in 2017 designates March 29th as the Vietnam War Veterans Day. All right, let's see what else March 29th has given us. 1806, construction is authorized of the Great National Pike, better known as the Cumberland Road, becoming the first United States federal highway. The road's also been referred to as the Cumberland Turnpike, the Cumberland Brownsville Turnpike, or the Road or Pike, and the Cumberland Pike, the National Pike, and the National Turnpike. Yeah, it's got all kinds of names. This is actually considered to be one of the better road trips in the United States. 1927, the Sunbeam 1000 horsepower, which is a car, it's also known as the Mystery and the Slug because of the way it looks. If you look at it, it's pretty weird looking. Anyway, it breaks the land speed record at Daytona Beach, Florida. It was the first car to ever travel over 200 miles an hour. 1945, World War II, the last day of the V-1 flying bomb attacks on England. Now, these were pretty ugly. My grandmother had to deal with these. There's family members that I had around her age that remember having to go into the tunnels of London and all that stuff. This was pretty scary. These days, our version of it is basically the cruise missile. You could fire it from far away and it goes to where you want. Back then, this was just a bomb with a jet engine and some wings, and they kind of had an idea of where it was going. Pretty impressive for the time, though. Nineteen seventy four, the Terracotta Army is discovered in China. The Terracotta Army is a collection of terracotta sculptures depicting the armies of Qin Shi Hung, the first emperor of China. And I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. This is a form of art and sculptures that were buried with the emperor in two ten or two o nine BCE with the purpose of protecting the emperor in the afterlife. The figures dating from approximately the late 3rd century BCE were discovered in 1974 by local farmers. They were actually trying to dig a well and they started finding some pottery pieces. And then they found a piece of pottery that looked like a hand and they dug a little deeper and found some other weird stuff. So they called the authorities. Chinese government showed up, saw what they found and pretty much roped the place off and started excavating it. And it is amazing. I've never seen it in person. The pictures and the history and the stories of it, it, it's just mind blowing that this was underneath people's farms for centuries. It's just really weird. In China, 3000 years ago, they believed when a noble dies, anything buried with them follows them to the afterlife, much like the Egyptians did. So they used to bury servants and stuff like that. And by the time Quinn Shur Young came around, killing servants and burying them alive with you kind of fell out of fashion. Historians believe that the terracotta statues were replacements for living servants. Emperor Hong had defeated a lot of armies and believed he would face them in the afterlife, so he built this army. The army faces east because he felt that's the direction his enemies would come if they were coming to attack him. It is believed that the tomb is unfinished. First of all, it's about the size of a soccer field or a football pitch or a you know, whatever you want to call it. It's about that big. And that's not all of it. They know there's a bunch more that they haven't excavated yet. There are different pits with different ranks and military specialties separated in these pits. There's an infantry pit, a cavalry pit, an archer's pit, chariots, even an entertainer's. I guess the emperor didn't want to be bored in the afterlife, so he you know, put in jugglers and whatever else they had back in the time. But there's also an empty pit. Nobody knows for sure if this was intentional or not. There's a couple things they discovered after digging these things up. Number one, the horses had saddles, proving that they were in use long before historians estimated that man started using saddles on horses. Some of the soldiers' weapons had been chromed also. They had chrome on them, which went against the theory that Germans started this many, many years later than when these guys were buried. It's an amazing thing to see. There's a ton of videos on YouTube about this. Uh, definitely check some out. It's really, really interesting. 1993, Catherine Kalbeck 
becomes the premier of Prince Edward Island and the first woman to be elected in a general election as premier of a Canadian province. 1999, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closes above the 10,000 mark for the first time. This was during the height of the dot-com bubble. Yeah, this was, I don't know if everyone was, you know, I don't know if all you guys were around when the dot-com thing was going on, but it was, people were just making money hand over fist, me included. Um, I'm lucky. I kind of went out unscathed because it started to look a little weird to me and I thought it was too good to be true. So I sold a lot of things before they peaked. I, if I would have held on about another six months, I would have, you know, made a lot more money. But I sold things because I was getting nervous. And six, seven months later, I was right. I have family members that lost a ton of money when the bubble burst. 2017, Prime Minister Theresa May invokes Article 50 of the Treaty on the European Union, formally beginning the United Kingdom's withdrawal from the European Union. Movies released on March 29th, 2018. Steven Spielberg's Ready Player One. This is a great movie. It was a outstanding movie. I wasn't expecting too much from it. I thought it was just, you know, like one of those, they used to have skateboard exploitation and surfing exploitations where they just made a stupid movie about surfing or skateboarding. I thought that's what this was going to be about video games. I thought, oh man, Steven Spielberg's taking a dive here. I saw it. Oh my God, it was so good. It was original. It wasn't one of those exploitation style movies. It was just a good movie. Definitely watch that if you get a chance. Born on March 29th. One of my favorite all-time supermodels. Can we have favorite all-time supermodels? Anyway, one of mine is Elle McPherson, Australian model and actress. She is known for her record five cover appearances on Sports Illustrated's swimsuit issue, beginning in the 1980s, leading her to the nickname, The Body. <laughs> That was actually coined by Time Magazine in 1989. She's a beautiful woman, even to this day. I, I mean, we all don't look our best at, you know, 57 or whatever compared to when we were 20, but she's still a gorgeous woman. Died on March 29th, 2016. We lost Patty Duke, American actress. She played The Miracle Worker, The Patty Duke Show, Valley of the Dolls, and more. She died at the age of 69 due to sepsis from a ruptured intestine. I always saw interviews with Patty Duke, and I always just think, you know, I obviously didn't know her, but I always felt that she was very, I, guess, I don't know, normal, like a normal person that just happened to be thrust into the limelight. That was on the surface. The reality of the situation is she was suffering from bipolar disorder. She was a big advocate for mental health issues. She even went and talked to Congress. She has an autobiography that I'd never read, but I heard it was very interesting. It goes into details of, you know, her attempts to take her own life, anorexia, all kinds of things like that. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go on, have a great day and be nice to each other.